Well, I think it was um, really a coming together of minds. Uh, there were many uh, researchers and doctors interested in uh, treating patients with uh, HIV and AIDS from Uganda and from Zimbabwe. There were other people from uh, the UK and some from the United States. At the uh, turn of the century, it became clear that antiretroviral therapy was really important to stem the uh, deaths and the severe impact on health that HIV was exacting. So doctors working with HIV and AIDS patients in Uganda and Zimbabwe uh, met in 2001 in Harare to consider ways of how best to give antiretroviral drugs to the vast number of patients who require treatment. Um, one of the biggest issues was laboratory monitoring. Laboratory tests in the West are done on a very regular and routine basis uh, in patients who are receiving antiretroviral drugs. And there is really no firm scientific basis uh, to this, but in Africa it became an obstacle for a number of reasons. Number one, uh, laboratory tests are obviously costly. Besides, you would need to have uh, laboratories which are capable of doing these tests spread all, uh, all over the place and, and clearly if uh, this was a requirement and if we needed to do routine laboratory tests with the same uh, sort of uh, regularity as in the West, it would be impossible in the African scenario, given that uh, laboratories were not available in rural areas or smaller towns. Um, and, and this was very frustrating. And this is how uh, the, the design of that, the DART study was conceived. The results of the DART study are exciting. They show clearly that uh, patients who are monitored by well-trained staff, doctors, nurses and counsellors, can give drugs and achieve outcomes that are as good as patients who are monitored um, very intensively like those in the West. The availability of laboratories uh, is still a big obstacle uh, today. That shows it's possible for patients to receive their treatment in rural areas on a regular basis uh, with very positive results as far as resistance is concerned and also achieving a high number of patients on treatment. Yeah.